we now have before us an opportunity to deliver true, meaningful, and lasting reconciliation between Canada and First Nations, the Métis Nation, and Inuit peoples. Over time, programs and services will increasingly be delivered by Indigenous peoples as part of their move toward true self-government and the full implementation of the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous Peoples. Indigenous peoples will decide how they wish to represent and organize themselves. Some may choose to engage with our government based on historic nation, uh, nations and treaties. Others will use different shared experiences as the basis for coming together. The choice is theirs. That is precisely what self-determination demands. And though this path is uncharted, I am confident that we will reach a place of reconciliation. That we will reach a place as a country where nation to nation, government to government, and Inuit crown relationships can be transformed. Part of that new partnership will involve addressing the shared challenge of climate change. Indigenous and northern communities are particularly affected by its stark reality. Community members are finding sea ice conditions more dangerous and unpredictable for traveling and hunting in the winter. In Canada's western Arctic, the permafrost is melting and huge pieces of tundra are eroding into the ocean. There is no country on the planet that can walk away from the challenge and reality of climate change. And for our part, Canada will continue to fight for the global plan that has a realistic chance of countering it. We have a responsibility to future generations, and we will uphold it.